it's really flipping bright outside. <laughs> I don't like pooping in public. Or going to the bathroom in general. I don't like doing it in public places where people can walk into the stalls next to you and you're only like a few feet away from another person who's also going to the bathroom and that's just like weird, a weird experience to me and I don't enjoy it. Pooping is a sacred act that should only be done in my own bathroom and I just I don't like doing it and in other people it's weird makes me feel weird it's a weird experience why should I be doing it where other people can listen to me bare my soul and my butt cheeks oh that was terrible okay and for the longest time, I actually didn't go to the bathroom at all in public. I trained myself to not have to go to the bathroom at school all day long, which now that I think about that, that's really disgusting and like probably really damaging to my body, whatever. But I am not able to do that anymore because I hit junior year, my body aged like 40 years, so I can't do that anymore. I have to pee now and it was a sacrifice, but some sacrifices you have to make. But one rule still stands, and I do not poop in public. Until recently, I had to break that rule. One day, I'm sitting in class, minding my own business, when the feeling hits. You know what feeling I'm talking about. You're not a vampire. You poop. Hello, human. And I usually brush it off. I wait until the end of school when I can go home or until my lunch break when I can drive home, do my business at home, and then go back to school. But it's second period. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I have a long time until school's over and I have a long time until my lunch break, which on that day was at 12.15. So I'm thinking, it's fine. It's fine. I can wait this one out. So I finish my assignment. I start writing or whatever I do. It's probably on Tumblr. And it just, it gets worse and worse. And I know I cannot deny it this time. And I know I'm in deep doo doo. Please punch me. And I know now I'm going to have to break my rule and I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom at school. <laughs> What's going on in my stomach doesn't feel right. <laughs> I needed to poop now. I know something's up, something's not good. I was nauseous, I was dizzy, and then I should probably take care of this for my own health and the health of those around me because I'm a considerate person. So I swallow my pride, I get up, I ask the teacher, I go to the bathroom and there's like this weird hallway in my school and it's called the vocational hall. So I'm in the vocational hall and I know for a fact the vocational hall bathroom is deserted. It's like half of a locker room and I went in there one day with my friend and no one comes in, it's empty, it's perfect. I could not be in a more perfect place to have my own body betray me right now. So I go and I take care of business and uh, I tell you it wasn't it wasn't pretty. I'm not proud of what happened in that bathroom that day. I unleashed some demons that day. So evil. They don't have names. And then I was left to wonder, why? That doesn't happen unless I eat strawberries or oranges. The two major things I'm allergic to. That was some next level. That was some next level <laughs> So, I rethink to myself, what did I eat yesterday? I'll tell you what I ate yesterday. I'll tell you what I ate the previous day. This. Dave's bread. Or I like to call it demon bread now. I had six pieces of this, okay? Look at this. It has probably every wheat, oat, grain that you could think of infused into tiny little pieces of hell that caused my butthole hell. So I'm never eating that again. Terrible. But yeah, I hate pooping in public. It disgusts me. 
I don't enjoy it. It's not fun for me or anyone who has to experience it as well. I just wanted to get that off my chest, I guess. Every time we go in the bathroom to take pictures, the freaking automatic <laughs> toilet flushes. <laughs> Why? How does that make you feel? I feel very disturbed and disgusted. 